Earlier today in Chicago at the United Center, Creighton and Florida went double overtime before the Blue Jays prevailed 83 to 82. We'll pick up the action late in the game. Florida's Brett Nelson feeding Udonis Haslam underneath for the dunk. Florida led by seven. From here on out, Terrell Taylor took over for Creighton. He cuts Florida's lead to three. And here's Tim Brando with more of the Terrell Taylor show. Off the pick. I thought there was a stoppage of play because what happened was by them running on the floor, the reason I felt it should have been a technical foul, I thought that we could have taken the basketball out and thrown the ball along. And, you know, obviously we had to tip it in, but their defense wasn't set. And for them to stop play and then to allow Creighton to regroup its defense, that's where I thought it was unfair. The officials make a comment to me, and, and this is one thing I don't like, um, and, and, and I, I don't believe it happened. Uh, he said that all, the only players that were running on the floor were guys that were in the game, and that's not true. The rule is really clear that if, if the players come on the court in a situation like that and interfere with a play that's going on, then a good technical foul could be called. But obviously in that situation, there was no interference of play. And as Hank Nichols explained it, there was no interference because Florida's players basically gave up on the play. Exactly. Clark. They figured it was over. They thought the game was over. And because they didn't act to get the ball in immediately, there was no interference, and it was the right decision by the officials. Incidentally, tomorrow, as we 